Welcome. Welcome to Morning Coffee with Dr. Stephanie. I am Dr. Stephanie D. Barnes, and by day, I am a healthcare innovation attorney, but I'm always the liberated lawyer, and I am committed to helping high-achieving women experience a life that is joyful, meaningful, and fulfilled, because life is too long to be unfulfilled. And you know, I've got a question for you. What's in your cup? As busy CEOs of our lives, we are always filling the cups of others. We fill the cups of our loved ones with inspiration and love. We fill the cups of our teams in the marketplace, in the workplace with encouragement and motivation. But what is left for us? You cannot give from an empty cup. So this is a little something for you so that you can serve others and overflow. And today, I want you to fill your cup with walking it out. You know, walking is one of the most powerful forms of therapy, I think. Now, of course, I encourage you, go to a real therapist, one who is trained. But if you can't get to your therapist or you need a little therapy in between, walking is a great way to walk it out mentally and physically. Anytime I'm feeling a little low, or a little sad, or a little angry, or just not quite right, in my mind and in my feelings, I go for a walk. I have found that it is a great way to not only move my mind, but to move my body and my spirit. So walking really gets good feelings circulating. And I believe it helps those not so good feelings that just go on, walk on out the door. So here are five ways to tap into the power of walking it out. Number one, it's easy. Start walking. You just need a pair of comfortable shoes and a path to walk. If you don't have a path to walk, treadmills work just as well. It's the movement that is important. Number two, as you are walking, be mindful. Be mindful of the beauty that's around you. Look at the trees, look at the flowers, look at the people, look at the houses, but be mindful of beauty. There is always beauty around you. Number three, listen to music. Listen to a podcast, listen to an audio book, but as you are walking, fill your mind with sounds that are encouraging. Some music that's going to help you move it, move it, a great book, a podcast, something that is stimulating good thoughts. Number four, this is really cool. Walk with someone who makes you feel good. You don't have to walk by yourself. I know that I love walking with some of my favorite people and just walking and talking, and it makes me feel good. And number five, walk with intention. Allow the movement to jostle your thoughts, your feelings, and your spirit, and to really not only get that blood circulating throughout your body, but getting good vibes, good thoughts circulating throughout your body. So walk with the intention of, you know what, I'm doing this to make myself feel better and in feel better in Indeed. Movement is good for you. It's good for your body, your spirit, and your mind. And it's a great way to mix up all those endorphins and, and dopamine and all that good biology stuff. You know, y'all biologists, y'all don't know what it is. But, you know, when you walk, when that movement gets you, you feel better. So walk, move, and get those good vibes circulating throughout you. So when you need to get yourself moving, get yourself moving, moving. Walk it out. Walking it out is a great way to move your mind, body, and spirit from hmm to whoop. <laughs> I hope that you've enjoyed this morning's coffee. And of course, if you are a woman who is ready to begin walking it out in not just your movement, but in developing a blueprint for helping you to live your best life, let's have a revelation conversation where you and I will sit down and begin to think through the steps that it's going to take for you to walk out the greatness in your life. Here's to walking it out, 
walking in movement to get your mind, body, and spirit on the path to the greatness you desire and deserve. Mm -mm. Remember, life is too long to be unfulfilled.